it's Miss Erica here at the Marie Fleshy Memorial Library and welcome to story time. Now today I'm going to read to you one of our favorite bedtime stories at home. Now at home we just love vehicles. We love cars and trucks and excavators, dump trucks, steamrollers, all those really fun vehicles. Do any of you like those? Well, if you do, I've got a really great story here for you. It's called, Where Do Diggers Sleep at Night? And it was written by Brianna Kaplan Sayers. Where do diggers sleep at night? Do they dream of holes they dug? Do their moms reach front to backhoe when they give a good night hug? Where do dump trucks sleep at night? After dumping dirt and rocks, do they gather toys and dump them in a giant truck toy box? Where do garbage trucks sleep at night? When they're done collecting trash, do their dad sniff their load and say, Hey you, time to take a bath. Where do monster trucks sleep when they're done a day of crushing? Do they find a giant puddle when their metal teeth need brushing? Where do fire engines sleep when they've won their firefights? Do their flashing fire red beacons make for super bright night lights? Where do snow plows sleep at night? When they've cleared the snow away, do their mom say, get to sleep, boys. Lots more snow is on the way. Where do car transporters sleep when they've loaded up with cars? Do they tell those cars a story as they sleep beneath the stars? Where do tow trucks sleep at night when they've reached their destination? Do they tuck each broken car into a cozy service station? Where do giant cranes sleep when they've lifted their last beams? Do their moms pick them up and rock them and wish them sweet truck dreams? Where do tractors sleep at night after plowing all day long? Do their dad sing Old Truck Donald? for a barnyard bedtime song? Where do all these trucks sleep after rumbling down the road? Do they gather at a truck stop to rest their heavy loads? Do they ask for one more story, one more kiss and one more hug? Do they cuddle with their teddies under blankets, blankets soft and snug? Where do your trucks sleep at night? When it's time to go to bed, they'll be waiting in your toy box when you wake my sleepy head. The end. One of our favorite nighttime books, and my daughter likes to beg for extra bedtime stories. We love reading it at nighttime. It's a great way to bond. Well, I hope you enjoyed my story today, and I hope you snuggle up. Get cozy and have a good night's rest. Have a great day, my friends. Bye-bye.